Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. I always start up here now. It seems to be the opening location. <laughs> Maybe next week I'll do it somewhere else. Who knows? Does it matter? No. Did my freckles go away already? Yes. Is my phone's volume on that I hate? Yes. I do not like my phone volume on. Is anybody else like that? Like, no. I don't want to hear every time I get an email. I get a lot of emails. I don't want to be notified. I've been like a little obsessive over my phone too. I notice that I check it constantly. So I should probably put my Apple watch back on because that does stop me from constantly looking at my phone. And I think that's like a big help for me to just like feel sane because <laughs> otherwise I'm like, maybe I missed something. When you're self-employed and all of your business is based on people reaching out to you, booking you and whatnot, you become a little bit of a slave to your phone and then that also can lead you to scrolling. I would love to break that. So my Apple watch seems to be the only thing that makes me not obsess as much. Look at my hair. Look at, it's parted differently. Look, it's a new me. <laughs> but I mean, can we just talk about how, I mean, my hair is so long you can't see it in frame and this is all natural it's still a little wispy you know like the strands could be a little healthier and a little thicker but i'm working on it and i did a mask this morning i did the matcha tea mask for about 30 minutes just woke up slapped it on pulled it up into a bun and then i did my normal routine when i wake up i clean up the kitchen from any leftover dishes from the night before i feed the dogs i let them out i make my coffee i make the bed i tidy up the living room it's the same freaking thing every day i feel like i am in a simulation <laughs> it just really feels repetitive but i like that i like that m that moment in the morning when the coffee is brewing the dogs are eating and i'm fluffing the bed sheets it's just a very <sighs> fresh start to the day and it feels great. So what we're going to do today is I'm actually going to go get dressed and I'm going to show you my thought process when I'm planning outfits for blog posts, photos, Pinterest because I Pinterest. Do you guys know I Pinterest? I Pinterest a lot so like follow me on Pinterest. That's actually like the most calm place. If you're looking for somewhere for content, scroll and get inspired and crafty people crafting then go to Pinterest because it's like the most neutral place. But uh yeah I'm going to make something to blog and put on my Pinterest. And I thought I would kind of explain, talk through my thought process as to like how I put these together to begin with. Uh, so I still have on a robe. I have not dressed myself today yet. I've just done my makeup. Nothing has changed with that. I'm still doing the same old thing. I feel like I've kind of found my makeup. Like this is, this is just what I do. The lip color changes, but pretty much everything else stays the same because it's feels like me. Like if I were to say anything was me, this is it. All right, so the first thing I do is I actually will pick whatever the main piece is. So whether it's an accessory, like I did with the costume jewelry or a jacket or shoes, you get the gist. I will then plan the outfit around that. And often I will go on Pinterest to look for some inspiration because sometimes I need my my thought jogged a little bit to think outside of the box. And sometimes I'll come up with it completely organically by myself. And then sometimes I do need a little bit of help. Pinterest is a great place to go to see what other people are coming up with. And then you can kind of see what they've done and go, oh, you know what I think would look kind of cool. And it just gets you, it's, you know, it's like spitballing ideas. And so that's what I did with this. I wanted to do a post on my blog about Crocs. My husband just got me a new pair. <laughs> he surprised me. He got a pair of Crocs for himself and he was so excited about them and he was like I really want to get you a pair. I mean sure I'll take a pair of Crocs and he's like well what do you want? I just feel like you need a pair of Crocs and I'm like okay. <laughs> he just he gets like that sometimes. He had picked out these lavender purpley just really quirky color. And anytime he picks anything out for me, I'm always just shocked by what he's chosen because he just, he goes out there with it, you know? Whereas I probably would have gone safe and picked white or black. These are the ones I had previously, right? I already had, they are so dirty. These definitely were my backyard shoes of choice for the summer when taking the dogs out because they're, you know, they're waterproof and whatnot. But these ones are platform. And uh, sometimes if they get slippery, they're so high that I feel like I'm going to sprain my ankle. And these ones are a little bit less of a, well, it doesn't look like that much. And this also has that curve to it. These are more traditional croc style. And they really do have these little 
like massagers, which when I walk around my house because it's hardwood floors, my feet ache a lot. I always have to wear socks because I can't, I can't feel stuff on my feet. <laughs> I can't. I have to wear socks because if I feel even a crumb hit my toe, I'm like, ah! like I do like the cricket thing on your feet and get it off. How do people make Crocs look cool? Some people just make them look cool. Yes, you can just wear them around normal in your leisure wear, but that's not exciting. I want to style them. I want to wear these out, but I want it, I want it to look like fashion. I want it to be fashionable. The inspiration photos I will put here. And these are inspiring in the sense of like, I like the idea of mixing color and patterns. So that's where my mind went with it. That's what I took away from those inspiration photos. And also color blocking the color. And I remembered that I had some purple tights. So how cool would it be? to put kind of a couple of shades of purple on. It's gonna be very ballsy for me. <laughs> I hope I can do it. The blazer, I felt like that blazer really calmed it down. So I grabbed the Prada blazer that I was talking about a couple of vlogs ago. So now that I've got kind of a color base, I wanna incorporate a pattern. Lavender purple, navy blue, all solid colors. Maybe the pattern will kind of add layers and textures to you, the eye. So when you look at it, you're not just seeing one solid color blocked pattern, which I think still would be cool, but I just felt like a pattern needed to be thrown in there. So I grabbed this, I think a plaid, in the same color family shirt under the blazer would be kind of cool. I was thinking maybe I'll just do this underneath. It's a tight fitted dress and I think this might be what I go with, but there also is the option of a more flowy skirt, but I did know that I wanted whatever was on the bottom to be a neutral. So we have some options here to play with. So that's kind of getting there. I actually don't hate it. It was important that I had the pattern out here as well, just so that it adds a little bit more of it and it's not being swallowed by the jacket. So we're gonna take two fragrances, one that's warm and one that's a little unusual to me. Warm would be Coffee Break by Replica. This one has a very nice, mm, this smells so good. <laughs> Creamy and Cozy Coffee is the name of it. So we're doing that one first. I save this all spring and summer for this time of year so that I don't get sick of it and also so it's special. And then the Elizabeth and James Nirvana. This one's a little spicy. So I thought this would be a nice spicy layer underneath the coffee break. It's just a little weird, you know, it's a little weird. I want to waft and people be like, what is that? The bamboo shoot ones, the OGs. Yes to the bamboo. There's a salon there too. They're everywhere. This whole block. When I thought I had found the dream place. I wish I was able to just do a little bit more of a pan and walking around that little area because the little, the, the shops and the coffee place and I went into that spa, one of them, there's like four salons just in that area. So when I get my business cards, I'm gonna walk around and just pass them out. Oh my God. <laughs> It was perfect. Like I say that about a lot of, well actually no, I haven't said that about anywhere else. Everywhere else I've, it was too busy. I just don't wanna walk in and it be like a party. I'm looking for more of a spa atmosphere that's really quiet and calm and relaxing. And when I walked in, it was like that chill music. It smelled really good. They had crystals and plants on these little shelves, very boho decorated. You know what I'm talking about. The room, there's like four rooms on the left and there was just one getting a service and it was a woman getting her lashes done and it was so quiet and I'm like, holy crap, I could, f if I was getting a service like that, I'd probably fall asleep. It's just the most relaxing environment and I can see myself doing henna brows in somewhere like that. So that is the goal. <laughs> I'm going to try to find a spot just like that. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I did wanna make some pumpkin cookies. I was gonna make those last week. So we're either gonna do that later. What time is it? I could do that now and then um, also tomorrow. Since 
I worked through the weekend, I was doing some projects. I actually haven't given myself like a day off and I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna do that today. <laughs> I don't wanna do anything. Oh, well, I'm gonna make the pumpkin cookies, but I think I'm gonna just with my husband being home, we're just gonna cozy up and watch movies. It's raining, it's cold. We're gonna get our first frost soon, so it's gonna get extra cozy up in here. Pumpkin puree. Brown sugar. I have a feeling we're gonna end up doing dry ingredients and wet ingredients. So let's separate wet and dry. I have a little wheat flour. One. Two. I'm gonna go ahead and put this attachment on because this thing makes it to where I can kind of slowly add it without it, you know, making a mess. Look at that. <gasps> wow. That looks so good. It's so doughy. Oh, that looks delightful. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just scrape the sides. Oh, that looks so good and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry because it's like still breakfast time. All right, well, I think we're ready. I'm gonna get the sheet ready. Well, I didn't realize that I was out of parchment paper, but I did just grease these with a little bit of ghee because let me tell you about that ghee. My husband experiences acid reflux a lot. I don't as much, he does a lot. I usually just get really like upset stomach a lot after a lot of foods. We're thinking because of the oils. It helps with acid reflux and stomach upset. Isn't that wild? So I'm gonna scoop all of this. He's calling. Hello? These cookies are gonna be bomb. Oh, uh, I can see it when I get home. I'm coming through Milton again. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you when you get home because I'm, um, I'm trying to get these cookies on these cookie sheets. All right, these are going in. I made them kind of big. <laughs> so hopefully these are not too big. Alexa, set the timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. Let's see how these turn out. So I'm excited. Now I'm gonna do the dishes. The cookies are in the oven. I wanted to show you guys this. Has anybody ever heard of this before? The Zum Laundry Soap, Frankincense and Myrrh. When I tell you that this is the best smelling laundry detergent, oh my gosh. It smells like a witch's cabin in the woods. It smells like she's in there making potions and the fire is going. That's what it reminds me of. It's just so good. It's very earthy. It's organic. And I actually don't really use it as our laundry soap. I use like a good old fashioned like laundry pod. That I add a little bit of just to fragrance everything, especially our sheets. And it just smells so good five simple natural ingredients found it at target but my friends were talking about it so i do believe that you can get it on amazon and also i think they also have other fragrances all in the earthy yummy family so what i actually prefer over cream cheese or at least if i'm gonna have cream cheese drizzle i would rather have it kind of like tart so i looked up a recipe for a lemon drizzle a cup of sugar and lemon juice and do a little bit of this maple syrup and the good thing about a drizzle is really you can't really mess it up like it it's really hard to mess up a drizzle a little bit of lemon the sugar look at what the fella surprised me with I was saying how we needed those plate bowls, like a hybrid, and uh, he got a set of Le Creuset, white, beautiful, like they have this detail on the side. Little plate bowls, they're so cute. Good morning. I need to go have some coffee, I can feel it. <laughs> I need it more than anything to get this day going. But I just wanted to uh, tell you guys about a couple of things because, well, first of all, today I wasn't originally going to vlog just because I'm just, I need a break. Um, and I don't usually do every single day. 
we had some terrible things happening last night still going on right now it's so scary and um i have an app this is not an ad but i have an app called citizen and i wanted to share that with you guys because if you are somebody who likes to stay informed like me this app will tell you when there's something going on in your area specifically so there's a map that has like a radar thing going on and it tells you when there's crimes fires uh car wrecks assholes out there doing terrible things it tells you that so if you're like an anxious person like me and when you leave your house you want to know what not to head towards so the app will notify you what's going on around you and you can avoid certain neighborhoods if there's a bad car wreck and it also lets you know when like really major things are going on across the united states so it's mostly your area but also major stuff so i got pinged when things started happening in maine last night and that it like in live real time the whole community starts reporting on what they're seeing and what's going on so you're just getting that instant like oh my gosh news of this horrible thing and so you can stay up to date and informed especially if you have family in other states i pay the four extra five extra bucks a month because you can look to see if there are any registered offenders around you so these are all just really handy things to know you can see what they look like so if you have neighbors in your area that have done you know, terrible things to a woman um you know what they look like and that is just handy information to have <laughs> good boy good boy he was like i can't look mama i'll have to bark if i do like he was looking out the window and then knew he was gonna bark at those dogs so he just was looking down it away and like closing his eyes don't let me see goodness that is my baby boy oh he says mama don't squeeze me mama don't squeeze me oh my goodness i love you i do he says mama stop Oh, baby boy. I love you. I do. Oh, gosh, you stink. <laughs> anyway, um, so I just wanted to share that app with you guys. It's just a helpful thing to have just to stay safe. Oh, and then one more thing. Tomorrow, I'm going to speak to one of the places. Fingers crossed. Sounds to me, like she said, we do have some tables that are empty from time to time. So tomorrow I have a date and I have an exciting meeting. I'll be dressing cute for all of that. So tomorrow is the day to dress up. Today is leisure wear. <laughs> Today is cozy. Put the cookies in this little holder, hopefully to keep the bugs out, because I'll be mad if I see a fruit fly in here. The little plates, I have some drying over here. We used them last night and they're so good. I love them, I need to dry those off and then I'm gonna put them in here. But now we have, I put the brown plates back where they belong. And now we have all white plates, except for those colorful ones, which actually I'm about to use one of those because they make the best cookie holders. They're kind of melting into each other. <gasps> they are so fluffy, oh my gosh. So if you're looking for the fluffiest cookies, make these because they are like puffs, little puffs of air and pumpkin. <laughs> like I don't know how to describe. They're so good. You hear that? This is exactly why I need new boots and I really wish they came today. They're not supposed to get here until Monday so it'd just be a pleasant surprise if UPS dropped them off because they would look so killer with this dress. This is my favorite dress I own official roses the length the turtleneck the shape it's just so cute it looks so good with this harness and i have on some little leggings i have bloomers on underneath so it doesn't catch on the leggings and those mark jacobs boots please dear god <laughs> please may they fit they would look so good because they fit just right up over the knee otherwise i do still have these vince camuto ones i just i, I don't I don't love that sound. It sounds like it needs a new heel. Yeah, see? The heel is completely off. I don't, I don't know when that happened. But anyway, here's the outfit. I have a little bun, this dress, a harness, and my Marc Jacobs tote bag. 
and the Vince Camuto little boots. Date night's gonna be exciting. We're going to Curdo and Cotto, the place that I walked by last week and said, look at this adorable yellow house. We've never been to this place before. And this is finally, <laughs> this is, this is the place that I have been meaning to go. It's a Italian restaurant, it's fine dining. It's supposed to be really nice. We're going really early. My husband is still on call, so it's possible we won't go at all if he gets called out. He did get called out now twice, but luckily at hours that were workable for him, I'm just like praying none of it happens in the middle of the night or while we're on our date, but anything is possible. So I'm just preparing for that, but I just wanna like shower, shave and do all that stuff, you know, but yeah, sometimes when your hair is dirty, but still like looking okay, a bun is the answer. You're gonna show that underbite, look at that underbite. She says, I got the most beautiful taste. Look at my teach. Aren't they beautiful? I got the most beautiful teach. I do. Okay, I gotta go. Yeah, I'm a little early. I thought there was a coffee shop over here, but I guess I was wrong. It's a really cute neighborhood though. It's like where all the Victorian houses are. Beautiful houses. I think this could work. I think this is gonna work. The only issue is, is that I have to go get all of my licensing renewed, which is a lot of money to <laughs> pay for all of that again to get renewed. So I gotta start getting on the computer and making sure that everything is back up to licenses. And hopefully I didn't wear them out. <laughs> Cause I just feel like sometimes when I meet people, I'm just, I wanna tell them my life story. I didn't tell her I was agoraphobic, <laughs> thank goodness. I need to know when to have a little mystery instead of just vomit everything out from the second I meet someone. Like, what is wrong with me? Well, it is much, much later. I am just pretty much done getting ready. I need to spray on some perfume to go out for a little dinner date. I can't wait to have someone else prepare my food because I just cook all the time. And then I'm wearing the Carolina Herrera number 440 matte lipstick. And then I'm got the little tassel attachment. I'm gonna pop that in my handbag. I don't know which purse I've decided to wear yet. Final outfit. I've opted for a layering skirt situation because I like the shape of this skirt over top of the mini and then of course a harness. Tossed on some shoes I thrifted forever ago and I actually almost ended up selling these. I had these in my store and I took them back off the shelf <laughs> because I was like no I like them too much. Kind of hurt my feet a little bit so I can't wear them for too long but we're just gonna go sit. Here's the husband's outfit. His new cardigan. Looking adorbs. What is that, uh, Ted Baker? Todd Snyder. Todd Snyder, I always get those two confused. up with dinner now we're gonna head to get some ice cream ice cream social hopefully your food was good huh hopefully your dinner was good yeah it was really good Ice cream's a little cold. <laughs> you are not going to believe this. We went to dinner. I got the halibut. He got the roast chicken. 
We ate dinner. It was lovely. I had a little N.A. martini. I asked if they can make like a non-alcoholic Cosmo. And then we were like, let's walk over and get an ice cream. So we walked along the shop, all closed down, but with their Halloween decor on a lovely, brisk, romantic date night evening. And he got a call. <laughs> he got a call. He got a freaking service call. What are the odds? All week long, his phone has been on for standby and he got a service call. So he had to drive up to Seattle to go. Um, there's like an apartment complex where the lights are out areas in the in the stairwells which is actually very dangerous and scary so i can understand the emergency but <sighs> i'm so annoyed you know it's not about me i feel bad for him and i'm gonna worry about him mainly i just am gonna worry now because he's out late and he was up already all this morning and went to work and hasn't slept it is just that's why they're essential workers and that's just how essential workers jobs are so i get it but i hate it uh, so that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys coming along another week with me Give me a thumbs up if you feel like it and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you next week Bye